You know, it was a nice day. It really was. I saw my uh, 14 year old nephew. And he was telling me, you know, there's this girl he liked in school. And for Christmas, she gave him like a Christmas kiss, you know. It's his first kiss. He was all excited about it. And that's nice, you know, because you remember those things, you know, your first kiss. I remember mine. Some colored hooker on Mermaid Avenue. <laughs> Five bucks and all you could fucking eat. She blew me also, but I didn't want to. I've been back since. A dozen times or so. Maybe two dozen. Who am I bullshitting? I'm there three times a week. The chicks change, but the blowjob's always the same. But I like this time of year, the holiday season. I love holidays. I really love them. get blown over the holidays. <laughs> you get blown all year. But come holiday season, it's like, it's a must. <laughs> Anybody, you know. You're in Macy's, you go up to the cashier. What about a blowjob, honey? It's Christmas. I spent every dime I made, blow me. Blow me for Pete's sake. It's beautiful when they do it. Because you put them under so much pressure, there's a whole line of people behind you. You know, and they're thinking, all right. Once a year, I'll blow a guy online. It's beautiful. Because giving is important. And they give blowjobs. They don't take a blowjob, they give them. So that's the argument. <sighs> know what I mean? Do you, you follow me so far? This crowd needs a lot of work. We'll do it, because I'll probably be the last one to leave this room. Guaranteed. Because I love doing my Christmas holiday special show. <laughs> That's what this is. They lit the tree again. So every year your girlfriend goes, let's go see the tree. <laughs> and I said, why? You saw him light it on fucking TV. Think it's gonna look different when you're closer? It's the same setup every year. Big stupid tree with a bunch of fucking bulbs hanging off of it. <laughs> a neighbor's got a tree, it ain't as big, but why go through the fucking traffic? Well, it's the holiday spirit. Shut your fucking hole and get me dinner. <laughs> you wanna go to a tree, I need something to eat. Let's deal. Last year I went down there, they towed my fucking car. Real holiday spirit in New York. I go, I just bought the fucker. Oh, it's in a no parking zone. So what? It's the holiday season. All right, blow me. What's going on? We spoke earlier, right? Texas? I eh? thought I forgot you, didn't I? Your boyfriend was with you, so I didn't want to rap too heavy. Because <laughs> once I lay it on, how can you be with him, you know? Want me to prove it? Oh, here it comes. She was coming on to me. Oh, we were talking about Texas. 
Who's watching the manure pit while you're out here in New York? <laughs> How long you in for? Because I told them we were rapping. Friday. We were having a personal rap out at the bar. Till Friday? Saturday. I say, see, who's the real ruler? Make her go back Friday, just on principle. Please make her go back on Friday. Do you, you come in for uh, like Christmas? Yeah. Yeah? What'd you buy her? It's our third date. It's a big fucking date, honey. I mean, we're not just talking a little tire wear and some gas money. We're talking plane tickets, hotel rooms, dinners to shove down your fucking throat. We're talking the trade, a buggy ride through Central fucking Park. Every move's a $50 spot. But you want more, you're gonna push it, aren't you? It's really your third date, huh? Bang them yet? <laughs> huh? Yeah? First date? Third, of course, the trip. The fuck for a trip? <laughs> Dinner don't even get you jerked off anymore. <laughs> fuck for that plane ride. Is that what mama taught you? What hotel are you staying at? Huh? They got the big bathtub? Huh? You know what I'm talking about. The fuck tubs? They always nail you with that. Oh, look at a big bathtub, baby. Yeah, your ass will be scraping the bottom of this one. Right? You fucked in the bathtub, didn't you, you son of a bitch? One of those jacuzzi jets shooting up her ass at the same time. What an orgasm, baby. Because chicks, they could use anything to have an orgasm, man. What do you think you always see them at the dry cleaners, the laundromat? No, the laundromat. That's where you see the chicks. I see them sitting on top of those fucking dryers. I'll stay there all day. It's a good place to meet chicks, you know? That's where I go. The only good thing about discos to meet a chick is you can't hear a word they're saying. So it's like as they're talking, yeah! You look around, yeah! Yeah, keep talking, dunce. But the laundromat, that's a good place to meet a chick. You know, because you know they're not wearing any panties, no bras, everything's in the fucking laundry. So you know if you could get those sweats off their ass, there it is. Home run. I hang out there three, four days in a row. Then I hit a funeral now and then. Oh, come on, you ever go to a funeral? You see the widow? You know what I mean? She's crying, you walk over. Hey, what's going on? <laughs> you here with anybody? <laughs> she looks at you, she's crying. I go, well, what are you crying about? You got the whole house to yourself. Where are you going when you're done here? Gonna go cry some more. Hey, it's Christmas time, blow me. <laughs> she starts blowing you, she forgets her problems. She's a happy girl again. Because what do you think, they take 10 years before they start fucking, I move right in. Oh yeah, I pick up the obituaries. Oh, this one looks like it's gonna be big. <laughs> She's got a few daughters, it says here, all right. I'll have a good time today. There's a lot of places to pick up chicks.
They were a good crowd. You're going to laugh more than you think tonight, pal. I'm going to create some great stuff for you. Because I don't know the next word out of my fucking mouth. That's the beauty of this act. Do you know that? You know what I'm saying? You don't. It's because you're a jerk off. That's what I think of you. And by the end of the night, most of the people here will also. Because chicks. They... But you're all right. You're wearing your Christmas gift, obviously. That sweater that she bought you. She got that for you? Mmm, nice. Just what I would have picked out. <laughs> Why are you wearing it? You know you don't like it. You can't possibly like that fucking gift. <laughs> what is that? Who, who wears that except maybe a third grader? Come on. <laughs> kind of fucking sweater? Bill Cosby don't wear those sweaters. <laughs> but you wore it so she won't get her feelings hurt, right? Well, it's too cold here. It's too cold. You got nothing warmer and nicer than that? And what'd you get her? Gold? You got her a car? Well, what'd you get her? Jerk off, please. You see what I mean? It's two names. Your first name's Jerk, your last name's Off. What'd you get her? A watch. And you got 100% fucking cotton. If you look out. You see, I don't buy it. See, a lot of chicks start dating a guy like Thanksgiving so they get a gift for Christmas. So I'll normally start dating one around Thanksgiving and then the 24th I go, I can't fucking see you no more. It's over. No gift, no nothing. Just a few loads out of my dick and that's it, baby. Hope you saved it. It's all they get. You know what I'm saying? Is it bad when you get a lump on your balls? Is that bad? I don't know. What's that thing that, that separates them? You know what I mean? That thing in the middle? Like the divider? I've been thinking about that for three weeks straight. I can't think of nothing else. Every day I wake up, all I think about is the divider in my balls. Why? Why is that there? And after thinking about it, I figure it this way, right? Some chick is blowing you, right? Could be any chick. It gives your balls like some way to rest. You know what I'm saying? I mean, for instance, let's say all you had was like one big bulldog ball, right? Now a chick is blowing you once again. So what's gonna happen? The ball's gonna roll off her nose, block her vision, right? I mean, depending which way you're laying, you can knock her fucking teeth out. You know, it makes sense. Should <sighs> check? Oh, he's, I can't see you, it's dark club. You like Dangerfields? It's a cool fucking club, right? Eh? Yeah? <sighs> Should date? The love of your life. The girl that's gonna soak you for every fucking dime you make over the next few years. Is that who that is? Your bull and fucking chain? Your what time are you coming home, girl? Is that who it really is? I wanna go to the mall, get a new pair of sandals. Is that who she really is? Huh? Hmm? <sighs> we'll get to the bottom of all these relationships here. Oh yeah, we're gonna work everybody. And how are you tonight, all right? Yeah? Look at you. Just fucking look at you. Yeah, and I thought you would jack off. Another guy with a sweater. Look at this fucking guy. Don't you wear champion sweats? What, what's wrong with you? Everybody wears champions. You don't have it. Why doesn't you get it for you? That's what they do. They get online in a department store and they buy you things. Don't you know a girlfriend's like having your own delivery service? 
Yeah, honey, look, my pants are dirty. Bring them to the cleaner. Same day. That, that's what they do. And then when they're good and they behave, you, you bring them out, give them a little wine, take them home, bang them. Next day, they're cleaning again. Don't you know that? There's <laughs> a lot of work to be done here. <laughs> It's like I saw this commercial a few nights ago, this chick, right, is scrubbing a toilet with Comet, you know, and she's wearing an apron and she's on her knees. And I just got a chill right up my spine. I'm saying, it looks so right. I mean, guys shouldn't do that stuff. You know what I mean? That's what women do. It's what I think. And a few other guys here think the same thing. But they're alone, a bunch of guys, so they can laugh. You gotta sit and look at her like, that's terrible, please. <laughs> uh, she don't look right with a vacuum in one hand and a pan in the other, jiggling some eggs. That's what they're meant to be doing. They're egg jigglers. You, you know that, come on. <laughs> come on, you come home. If you got people coming over and there's clothes all over the place, you pick it up and you go, honey, Sweep. Sweep the apartment. I got people coming over. I mean, you let her get her hair done, her nails done. She goes, she buys clothes, she drives your fucking car, and you got to take the train to work. Right? <laughs> Least she could do is be like a walking broom. You know, you clean up. It's nice. It's wholesome. It's all American. It's old-fashioned. It's the way it should be. Right? Believe me, the black guy don't stand for no bullshit. He don't stand for no fucking shit. No motherfucking shit. He knows, right? Who axes your car? You or her? Bright man, too. Uh, I'm only teasing, right? You know that. I think you. I saw you the minute I came on stage. You're a special kind of man. The kind that makes things happen. You do. I could see that right away. You out of town type of thing, visiting? From where? Hartford. Ooh, what a vacation. Ooh, fun. I don't go to Florida and get a few rays, right? Come into the city and fight every degenerate in the fucking streets. Ah. <sighs> And you dragged her along with you, huh? She dragged you? You make a nice girl. You married a long time? It's a horror show. Now you love it? Come on, you wouldn't take something in this room? Take a look around. Honey, stand up. Do me a favor. Come on, I bet she's got a bush that would knock my Aunt Connie's socks off. Oh, uh, look at her, eh? Oh, yeah, nothing like a nice vagina. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these chicks, they like to shave it a little, you know, give it that crew cut effect. Like it's going into the Marines the next day. Me, I like a bush, you know? A nice, big, hairy, stinky, smelly, fucking skanky bush. I don't want no perfume down there. I want salmon. You know, they try to dummy it up with, like, Chanel or something, you know? I want the natural scent, you know? This one who I was dating had so many dicks going through, I had to double puck mine on her ass for an hour. <laughs> the vagina, it's important. It makes things happen. Right? I mean, what are you dating her for? Talk? Good conversation? Come on, you know why you're dating her. Because let's face it, every guy in here, all he cares about is a chick's ass. You know it, and I know it. So let's cut through it, all right? Don't you remember your first few dates with her? You'd sit in the diner, she'd ramble on for hours, you don't hear a word she's saying. You're thinking about that ass. 
That's right, that is. Those two chunks of flesh that shit tumble out of. And she's like, I want to be an attorney here and bend over. Let me cross-examine you, honey. Come on, ass eating, an art form? Hmm? That's right. You guess so. What, you're not an ass eater from way back? Nothing like ass eating, come on. You gotta know what you're doing. It's like, first you gotta clean them up. I normally drag them out to a hydrant, stick them on there for an hour. Get it nice and clean, you know? Then you got the safe areas of the ass, you know, the upper crack, lower crack down near the mat. The cheeks, you fuck with that, you know? And then you just sort of hover above the bung. Not me, I like to get right in there. That's ass eating. That's if you care. A lot of guys won't stick their face in their girlfriend's ass. They get a little timid, a little afraid. Not me. I'm right in there. I'm Richard Nixon in that ass. Oh, I like your ass. I don't want to eat your ass. Give me that big fat fucking ass. <laughs> hey, you're digging the vibe, man. I mean, that's a vibe. It's an ass eating vibe. I mean, we beat up Delsner on the rent. It's a vibe. You know what I'm saying? Get in there. If I could put my tongue on my ass, I'd never leave the fucking house. That's, that's the way I feel. That's why I love dogs. You see, dogs don't get involved like you. You gotta spend your money. Great Dane sees a little poodle in the park. He comes up behind her. Dudge, now move! No phone calls. No, you come here off and boom, done. <sighs> a lot of foreplay in sex? Eh? A lot of foreplay? Nothing, right? Beautiful. I could bang a chick out under two minutes. Oh, pathetic. What am I going to waste time for? You know what I mean? Because you, you wind up here, you give them the foreplay, right? You perk up the nips, you chomp on their neck a little, you know, you spit in their ear for a minute or two. You know, now you're all revved up, you're ready to slice them, and all of a sudden, can I go to the bathroom? And it's like, well, what was I working on you for? So when they pull the bathroom thing, what I do is I jerk myself off a little, I get ready. And when she comes back, I put it in and it's like one stroke done. And I'm out cold. You know what I mean? I give him a quick squeeze of the tit, I'm in, I'm out, I'm sleeping. Beautiful. I mean, why waste time? There's so much else to do, you know? Now, the black guy, one stroke could take three blocks. You know what I mean? So at least, you know, she gets a little pleasure. Because now they want that, you know? They got to get their pleasure. They have to have an orgasm or 20. A couple years ago, you just get on top, blah! You know, now it's they gotta feel good. Well, what did they do to earn it, huh? Did she clean the lint off your desk? Did she build that other room like I told you? Why should you have pleasure? When you do those things, when you rotate the tires on my car, then then, maybe. Till then, one stroke done. Maybe that's the wrong attitude. <sighs> I don't know. Where, where you going? We're, we're not done with this part yet. Oh, come on, come on back. What's the matter with you? I forget, she's, she's not going to the bathroom, she's at the club, I love that. <laughs> All right, some of this humor's a little off color, I know that. So when are you going back to Hartford? Who cares? Uh, how you guys doing, all right? 
Is this guy a fucking jerk off or what? <laughs> you ever see a jerk off like? No, he's not a jerk off. He's a great guy. And you know you'd be laughing your balls off if you weren't with her. Come on, you'd be going, yeah, yeah. She bought me this piece of shit sweater. That's what you'd be yelling. But you're being nice, and that's the way you gotta be when you're with them. You know what I'm saying? Sure you do. Can't help it. I didn't write these rules. I just abide by them. Got any kids? No. No. You married? Yep. Yeah. Were well, you shooting blanks? <laughs> huh? <laughs> Month and a half worth of blanks. You trying for the kids? Take a look at some people with kids before you do it. I mean that. You'll meet somebody that's pregnant. And the husband goes, "What an incredible feeling." Okay, yeah, it's gonna be real incredible when that kid's pissing in your face. You're wiping the shit out of his ass. He's throwing up, he's spitting at you. He's dropping his fucking food on the floor. You don't get a minute's fucking peace. Yeah, that's fucking incredible. Yeah, that's what I wanna do. Yeah, go have a dozen. Have a crib full of shit. And a kid sitting in the middle going, Dad, Dad, shut your fucking hole. Wipe your own ass. Feed yourself, you fuck. Because you know that same kid's gonna come to you 17 years later. Hey, Dad, can I use the car? No, it's a little rainy out. I don't think it's a car. Well, fuck you, Dad. No, fuck you, and that's why I didn't wipe your ass, you little prick. Yeah, go have them. You got kids? How many? Two, huh? Been supporting them, putting them through school. Graduate, what are they studying? Yeah, I'll talk to the psychologist. Is it a chick, the psychologist? Yeah. Think she'd uh, dig my vibe? Come on, parents dig me. I know how to charm them, you know? Especially the mothers. It's like this one chick, I wasn't dating along, but I knew I was gonna bang her that night. And I figure I'll be nice. You know, you go in the bedroom, you turn up the TV nice and loud, so, you know, the mother don't hear you banging her out or nothing. So the mother's knocking at the door. I don't even got a heart on yet, you know what I'm saying? I mean, her daughter's first going to work here. And she's like, what are you kids doing in there? And I'm going, hey, dunce, we're fucking. What do you think we're doing? Think I'm deaf that I got to listen to the TV so loud, you fucking idiot? So I wound up banging her and her two other daughters, you know? It was beautiful. What a fuck, the mother true. You know, they got the years behind them, you know? They know what they're doing. You know, I didn't have to sit and have wine with her. She laid on the couch, she spread eagle. I pinned the legs behind her head like Bugs fucking Bunny and plowed away. You know, the father wasn't home. You know, I wouldn't do it with him in the house. That's wrong. You can't date a chick with sisters, you know? You can't do that. Or if they got a good looking friend, you know? It's like if my girlfriend brings home like a nice looking girlfriend, I fuck her. <laughs> On principle. You know what I mean? Don't throw another bush in front of my face. What do you think I'm gonna do? Talk to it? I'm gonna bang it. Cause your girlfriend will go, you know, I'm gonna go to the store and get some milk or something, and you two get to know each other. She's out the door, I'm in the chick snatch. She comes back, did you have a nice talk? Oh, beautiful, I'm gonna take a nap. You two have a good time. Because they're all a bunch of fucking who is you know that. You're from Hartford. <laughs> they got the classy who is up there, you know? You got to buy them coffee. <laughs> ah, chicks are fun, though. I, I dig them. I, I goof on them. I, I love chicks. Don't get me wrong. They're the greatest thing in the world. Next to chocolate. Oh, come on. You ever eat a truffle? Huh? <laughs> eh? Ever eat a fucking truffle? 
Put a chunky in a chick's vagina, lick away for hours, man. Kills the boredom. Because it does get boring, man. Sometimes I conk out for an hour and then start up again. Because if you stay there, they'll leave you there. They're not even paying attention. They're watching TV. I'm sick of it. Jerking off is where it's at. That's all the 90s are going to be. Jerking off and working out. That's it. We've built up to it. There's too much disease in this world, you know? You can't plow a chick the way you used to. So it's like, I don't know, what will they consist of? 1990, I don't know. You get up, jerk off all, all over yourself. Go to the gym. Look at these chicks walking around with their dance skin creeping so far up their ass it's wiping their pancreas. You get a nice look, you come home, you jerk off all over yourself again. You go to the disco that night, see the chicks with the low cut cleavage, that tits are bobbling all over. Jerk off all over yourself again and uh, you call it a day. <sighs> I got a rag, took so many loads, I hung it in a fucking frame. People think it's art. You know what I'm talking about? Why go through a rag a day when you use the same rag for six, seven months at a clip? You frame it and you call it jerk off. Take it to a museum, people give you 50,000 for it. You gotta know how to make a buck. Like when I came into this business, they used to have these sperm banks, right? So I wasn't making much cash. So I go down to the sperm bank, I drop a load for 50 bucks. It's a day's pay. Sometimes I'd come in with my hands all taped up like I'd burnt them or something. I said, uh, you think you could get a nurse to help me out over here? Would that be too much trouble? Not that chicks know how to jerk you off, man. They, they have no idea, man. They go into a tizzy. You come home from work, you don't want to bang them. You're like, honey, look, I'm going to watch the news. Do me a favor, jerk me off. Five minutes in, am I doing it right? Dunce! Don't twist it, it's not a bottle cap. It's a dick up and down. You know what I'm talking about? You lost half your brains from jerking off, I think. That happens, you don't go blind. I think you just lose half your brain. You like suck it right out of your dick somehow. You jerk off a lot? Huh? Really, what are you, one of these guys that saves it? What are you saving it for? What do you think it is, wine? You gotta let it age? Blow it the fuck out. Repaint the walls, what do you give a fuck? It'll grow back. And there are so many ways to jerk off. It's like, you know, you got that one hand that works like a charm. You know what I'm saying? You following this? And then you got that other hand that you just fuck with once in a while. Because it's like a palsy hand, you know what I mean? Doesn't exactly know the moves, you know? Doesn't hold it the right way. So you close your eyes, you make believe it's some chick you're on a first date, you know? And then when you're done, you kick it off the bed. She make you do a lot of tedious things for her. Yeah. My girlfriend sent me to get a container of milk today. Wanna to hear about it? Hmm? You don't? I want you to shove your head up your ass if you don't wanna hear about it. Cause I'm gonna talk about it. And I might talk about it for a fucking hour now. Yeah, she sent me to get milk. I figured, all right, two minutes out of my day. It don't mean nothing. So I walk in, right? Hmm? I go over to the milk. Now milk's come a long way. I mean, normally, she does that. But I figured I'd be a nice guy. You could have a nervous breakdown in the milk department, you know what I mean? You got all kinds of milk. You got buttermilk, skim milk, low fat, 2% fat, no fucking fat whatsoever. Because the homogenized shit nobody wants to know from anymore, you know? That's the old shit. Nobody's drinking that no more. 
And with each time they take a little fat out of the milk, they charge you like another buck, those pricks. Now, how do I know there's no fucking fat in no fat milk? You see what I'm saying? So you know what I do? I take the homogenized container. Nobody's looking, right? I spill it out all over the fucking floor. I take the no fat, I pour it into the homogenized container, I'm saving myself a buck fifty. <laughs> Nobody knows nothing where the money went, nothing, right? So now I go to the shampoos. They got every fucking shampoo, right? And I like how they tie them together, the shampoo and the conditioner, and it says, well, after you use Jehovah shampoo, <laughs> use Jehovah conditioner. Well, maybe I don't like fucking Jehovah conditioner. Maybe I like pert. But pert costs a little more, so what do I do, right? I take the Jehovah conditioner. I squirt it all over the floor like it's somebody's load. People are slipping, sliding. I take the pert, put it in the Jehovah fucking bottle. Another two bucks. Nobody fucks with Dice. Dice does the fucking... What are you going? You're going to go take a dump? <laughs> huh? Yeah. She's got some sense. She's leaving. It's a guy, jerk off. <laughs> we got a chick jerk off here. Our first of the night. Just listen up, shut your mouth, and pay attention. Maybe you'll do a little better next time. You shut up. <laughs> you shut your fucking hole. Where did you come from anyway? You're such a jerk. You're you are such a jerk. Exactly. You are so funny. Did, did you like the Jerko segment? What was it that threw you? The ass eating, the uh... I don't know, maybe it was something I said that annoyed him. Have a happy new year. <laughs> we got him. You know what it was? She was getting excited. That was a way of getting out of here so she could fuck him. Can't party with the big boys, don't show up. It took him an hour to figure out this is filthy. <laughs> she didn't mind the dogs fucking in the park, but I tell him he's taking a dump, they're aggravated. <laughs> so anyway, baby, uh, you really dig this guy, huh? Does he work during the day? Does he work during the day? Can we lose him for a half hour? Because I dig you, you know. I get a vibe when I talk to you. <laughs> you know, that's electricity all over. You're okay. You're using them, aren't you? You carry his credit cards, huh? Does he ever let you do that? Hey, you're a good girl. He sticks one in your ears. Go have a good time, honey. <laughs> hey, you know it and I know it. So who we bullshitting, baby? Dig me. Can't help it, right? <laughs> Look. <laughs> we got the eye thing happening, you know? You wearing drawers under those pants? Eh, I bet you got those Calvins creeping up your ears. Eh? You turned me on, but don't get crazy. You're not the only one in the room. She was coming on to me when you went to the bathroom. <laughs> That's why they're all whores. She sat nice and quiet till you went to drop a load. Right? And look what she does. You f fuck. If I want to do rhymes, I'll do them. This ain't what this show's about. The show's not about laughter. It's about comedy. You don't have to laugh to enjoy it. 
Who's this chick? What was she? What's she on her knees? What are, you, what are you doing there? She's sucking dick, isn't she? That's what I like to see in a club. I love this fucking place. Here she goes. Where are you going? Got to take a squirt or something? All right. Have a happy New Year. Hope you had a wonderful time. Bye now. Oh, uh, she loves me. She'll be waiting at the bar for me. Because I got that kind of charm. You could feel that. You know what I mean? Is that your steady? No. No? I like that. What is she to you? Oh, his girlfriend's your best. I know you were cool. Well, the cat's away, your cock will play, eh? <laughs> You're not gonna try to fuck her? Sure you are. <laughs> Why not? Who's gonna tell? Right, how long she been hanging around you when you chick? Well, you just met yesterday. You just met, and you don't wanna slap her on your peg and fill her full of cheese whiz? <laughs> Come on! Come on, you know you want to lick her till you could stick her on an envelope and mail her, pal. Come on, what are we talking? It's all right, lose the draw your arm around her, squeeze it, tit, get to know her. I dig you. You got pizzazz. I saw that the minute I came on stage. You better do it for yourself. Or you'll feel bad. You'll go home, and there she'll be. Did you have a good time with my girlfriend? What are you going to say to her? Yeah, we went, we watched the show. I had to pick her up, I had to drive her home, I had to fill her full of coffee, and that was it. You should know in your head you banged her. You should know that for you. <laughs> Bang her. <laughs> Do everything you could think of to her and then never acknowledge her again. Because if you don't, I'm going to have to. Because I dig her. Look at her. Look at her. The brown hair. I dig it, man. There they are. What's going on? Everything. You're a little late. We covered a few things. A lot of blowjob material so far. But we've got plenty more to go over. Would you have to fill a full of food first? Yeah. Took an hour longer than you to get ready, huh? Had to drag her along. You didn't want her. I could see it. You can't have one chick. Look at you. You got a suit. You got the wind tunnel tested. Hey, dude. She's not your wife? Oh, beautiful. You see? He's banging her, you're banging her, everybody's cheating. <laughs> All right, get comfortable. This is going to be a long night. All right, go ahead. Relax. Take your time. That's it. Comfy? Because I care. I ain't bullshitting. You know, I know I goof on chicks, but when I'm in bed, I'm sensitive. I mean, let's say I pick up some hooa tonight and I'm going to fuck her, right? Now, I don't know what kind of protection she's got. So before the orgasm, I let her know what's going to happen. I'm like, ugh. <sighs> ugh. Hey, look, honey, I'm going to come. What'll it be? In your crack or on your back? <laughs> oh, I'm going to come. What'll it be? In your snatch it down the hatch. Pick something, baby. It's getting close. There ain't no cap on this I got to pull off. It's going. Yeah. Long horn cocksucker. Move the mic over a little.
No. No, I ain't doing no rhymes. Not tonight. I did two hours worth last night. You missed it. I was here, you didn't. You're lying. You must have went to the bathroom. You were jerking off in the bathroom when I did those rhymes. You were doing that old knuckle shuffle on your piss pump, weren't you? We had some nice hooers here last night, huh? Did you see him? Yeah. See that chick, the mother? Oof, what I did to her. Oh, I didn't see her face for the first three hours I was with her. It's like the minute you bang them, it's like you owe them. I don't understand that. You take a chick out, you buy a coffee, the least you could do is blow you in the car. Is that wrong? It's like I'm out with this chick a few weeks ago. So we went, bought a pizza. And now I drive into this alley that I know nobody comes down. And you know, I'm making out with her, you know, I slap the tits a few times. And, and I start putting my hand down her pants and she goes, oh, oh no. No, this isn't a good time. What are you talking about? I, I bought you pizza. You know I wanted to fuck you. I don't understand that logic. I bought the fucking bitch pizza. I acted nice. I made like I was paying attention to her. Well, I'm a nurse. Career move, huh, baby? Well, I really want to be a doctor. Did you go to school for it? No. Then you're always going to be a fucking nurse. You dummy. You fucking dummy. You dumb fucking dummy. What do you mean you want to be a doctor? I guess you're right. All right, blow me. She did. They always do, sooner or later. Texas is gone. They got out light, man. I didn't see him go. Was she fucking brutal to look at or what? She really had no tits. I got a good look at her when she came inside there. It was like concave, you know? I hate that. I don't mind little tits. I just hate when it goes in. You know, like somebody hit him in the chest with a weight or something. When there's just like no sign of a tit. Just pisses me off. She's back. Oh, where is she? I was just talking about her. What, did he leave? Good. Had an argument? No, what happened? Huh? What happened with him? Oh, really? <laughs> it's in the grocery today. Yeah, I got a blow job. It's a grocery store. It's where chicks hang out. You go into the fucking vegetable department. There she is, feeling up a cantaloupe. I go, you know, those cantaloupes look like your tits, baby. I threw on the tomatoes, I fucked her. Took a purse and ran. Of course I fucked in the grocery, doesn't everybody? You ever fuck them like in the frozen food department? Keep a nice heart on over there. Put a little ice on it. 
You're looking for the Hagen dazs Nobody's looking. She drops to her knees. Whip out your brick. And she blows you. Don't you have any imagination? So how are you tonight? You having a pleasant evening? Good. It's girls' night out. Is that what it is? Why do you all have the same hairdo? It's horrible. The fuck is that? I thought it was caps. You all go to like the same beautician? You related? Really? Who? Is that your mom? And you're the daughter? And you're the tag along. The tag along. You got another daughter with you? Oh, you're the other daughter, huh? Mm, mom and two daughters. I like that. <laughs> See, to me, that's paradise. I start dating one, I work up to the other, and finally there's mom. Bending over the kitchen sink with that short little skirt, hiking up your ass, you're doing the dishes. I come up by, okay, how you doing, Mrs. Cohn? Hey, what's going on? Okay, that's it. Shake that fucking ass for me, baby. Hey. I dig you. You're a hip family, man. You look like the Osmonds. Oh, so, so you dress alike, like mom. You look like mom, but do you uh, fuck like a... Eh? You ever compare notes with mama? Oh, shut up! I didn't tell her to dress and look like her. She did it on her own. Just telling you what I see. Now, I'm only teasing. I wouldn't bang you in front of them. You know, I got class. I'm the kid salami, baby. Eh? There he is. This is a joke, right? This is a setup. Dad's also got the same head doing dumb fucking sweater. Macy's having a sale. What was it? What made you do this? It's just rapping with your family. How is it having two daughters? Which one's for me? Who do I date? Who's the youngest? Mm-hmm. She's the rebel. She don't have on a orange sweater. So you don't got a boyfriend, baby? You get nervous when she goes out with guys? Only a little. Why? Why would you get nervous? Don't you remember dating her? Huh? You bang her before you got married, the truth. <laughs> Your children want to know. Because, you know, parents always tell you the right thing to do. Now, if you were fucking up, why didn't she be fucking? You want to get her out of the house? You want to quit paying for her school and her bills and her hair and her fucking clothes? And get out and start fucking, get married. Tell her, get rid of them already. How old are you, sweetheart? 21. Oh, I shouldn't talk like that. Because she's a virgin. They're all virgins till they're married, right, Dad? Come <laughs> yeah. hey, on. You were riding her like you were in a rodeo, remember? And Ace was just bobbling on that car seat. You were sweating, she was saying, stick me, Frankie! Stick it! Give me the go! <laughs> you got any sons? No. Just two daughters, huh? Mm. You're one happy guy, aren't you? <laughs> I read books about families like this. Hot mama. Huh? Seen videos like it. 
Yeah, I know your type. You come out dressed like you just went on a skiing trip. You go home, you put on your boxes, you tease them. Your bulls are swinging around like some great Dane in a buck. Come to Papa, little girl. Come to Papa. Yeah, hot stuff. Look at him. His fucking glasses are fogging up, man. Been checking off too long, eh? <sighs> when did it all start? She was the first one out, right? Right out of the gate. This is the oldest one? Yeah. Remember when you used to diaper her? Then remember her little first grade pictures. Then remember that one summer where she walked out in a bikini creeping up a race. Her tits were bobbling out of her top. And you're thinking I want to eat her like a toast fucking salad? Come on, get the fuck out of here, you horny cocksucker. They do it in Texas all the time. Nah, I'm just teasing you. You're a nice man. I don't even know why I said those things. I didn't mean it. Look at the look of horror in your daughter's face. Just look at that. Thank God. She's putting you on. She knows what I'm talking about. Ah. Uh. Look how close they're getting now. See, they're getting turned on. They're hearing all this talk about fucking, sucking, ass eating, blowjobs, cunt eating, all that shit. Right? It's getting you horny? Gonna get in that jacuzzi? Shove your ass into his face? Show him how happy you are to be in New York? That's my little girl. Rhymes, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, suck my dick and swallow slow. <laughs> Doe a deer, a female deer. Ray, the guy that fucked the ass. <laughs> Happy? Oh, wasn't recognizable, it was new. Fucked you up, didn't it? And a thing, I gotta come up with new shit. You're guinea pigs. If it works, beautiful, it don't work, who gives a fuck? No. Wait, I'll give you a rendition of an old one. I'll make something. What's your favorite one? I'll come up with something new for it. Hickory dickory dock, your wife was sucking my cock. The clock struck two, I dropped my goo, I kicked the bitch down the fucking block. All right, let's come up with another one. What's another favorite? Nah, that's too short, that one. All right, Jack and Jill went up the hill. Both with a buck and a quarter. Jill came down with jit all over her face. I don't know. All right, wait a minute, wait, Mary, man. Humpty Dumpty, let me tell you something about that cocksucker. What was he doing up on the wall in the first place? He don't got no legs, right? So of course, now he's splattered all over. You can't even fry the son of a bitch. Egg's got a shit life anyway. They get laid once, fried once, and the only one that sits on his face is his mother. And Dr. Seuss, whoever gave this guy a license to practice medicine, right? 
He's got one fish, two fish, a red fish, a blue fish. He's got ten apples up on top, eats green eggs and ham, and keeps his cat in his hat. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, this guy ain't shoving no thermometer up my ass. What else? Mary had a little lamp. Did she? <laughs> <laughs> old King Cole was a merry old soul. A merry old soul was he. He chewed off his tit, ate his own shit, washed it down with some tea. <laughs> huh? An old lady. Little old lady lived in a shoe. She had so many kids, she didn't know what to do. So, she started sucking dick. You like it? No. So why do you want to know? <laughs> well, you could burn the hat, but you got to keep that fucking face the rest of your life. <laughs> you can't get me. I'm too good. I'm too fast. I'm too sharp. <laughs> what? Oh yeah, that really happened. That whole thing, I was online at the bank, I stuck my tongue up a girl's ass. True story. Everything I say is true. No lies involved in this act. Yeah, I got a blowjob too. Picked the teller up, right on the fucking counter, licked the ass, fucked her, dropped the load down her throat, left. That's what I did that day. I do it three times a week. So, uh, you only want an old bit. What about Petticoat Junction? Remember Petticoat Junction? Yeah, remember those three chicks on Petticoat Junction? Ever jerk off to that? I did. What pissed me off is that Petticoat Junction and I Dream of Genie were only a half hour apart. So you didn't really have time to revive to jerk off a genie after that. So it's either you gotta go one or the other, you know? You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of shows like that, you know, with chicks. You know, like Roseanne Barr, for instance. Oh, come on, what, because well, she's a little overweight? Let me tell you something, I was watching a show the other night and I turned off the TV and I saw that I was jerking off all over myself. I didn't even realize it. What if I had family over? It's like the hand is on automatic pilot. So your new show, Dice? Yeah, go ahead, tell me the joke. 300 something. <laughs> <laughs> she lives in a house in Bel Air and you drive a broken pinno. She gives a fuck what you say. She shits on you, believe me. You don't like fat girls? No. No? Wait till you hit 35, honey. We'll see how you don't like them anymore. I'll tell you a little story, right? I'm coming home with this dish rag who I met one night, right? I'm not even in the front door. And my dog is humping a leg, and he's got his face in a snatch, right? So I'm looking at him like, you prick cocksucker. Who's the one that had a wine and dine this fucking dunce? I'm not even in the front door, and you're eating a bitch. You had to see what I did when he brought somebody home. People get dumb pets. When they can't afford a dog, they get like a little bird for 50 bucks, you know? So a chick brings you over, she wants to impress you. Oh, look at my bird. <laughs> yeah, so what does he do, baby? Buck? Can he fetch a stick? Can he roll over? Can he give me his fucking pull? No, then throw him in a pot, I'm hungry. 
This one chick I was dating got real pissed off. She came home, she caught me skipping a turtle across the fucking pool. <laughs> I'm like, hey, never came up again. <laughs> fucking turtles. The only, the only kind of pet I like is a catfish, you know? To me, that's the mafia of fish. You'll never see a shark fuck with a catfish, you know? Because the catfish would look at him and go, oh, yeah. Yeah, what are you going to do, huh? <laughs> huh? I make one fucking phone call, it's over for you. Get the fuck away from me. You don't know who I know. Do the right thing, bully. Get the fuck away from me. Just get the fuck away from me, you fuck. That's catfish. It's my entire routine on the catfish. <laughs> Come on, don't laugh, you egg me on. Give me a little more silence, I need it. Ah, oh, man. Can't jerk off the penthouse no more. Letters are too perfect. You know? You ever jerk off the penthouse? No. No? What do you jerk off to? <laughs> porno movies. <laughs> what do you do when you watch a porno movie? Study it? <laughs> Write a three-page fucking paper on it? You jerk off all over yourself. What's the matter with you? What do you rent it for? The storyline? <laughs> Porno's the greatest, man. That's why I love hookers. I love all that shit. It's like, they have any girl comics here tonight? Any chicks? Huh? No, huh? lucky for you. Lucky for anybody. But I guess women are funny. They always have been, right? It's like in school. They were always the class clown, throwing shit at the teacher, causing a ruckus, right? Then you go to a party with your chick. She's the one in the middle of the floor telling filthy jokes, making a real asshole out of herself, right? No, wrong! Then what are they doing on stage telling fucking jokes, huh? They all got the same rap. All of them, I want to get married and have children and start fucking. I don't want to marry Bozo, I want a fucking blowjob. What are they telling jokes? There's a million things chicks could do. You ever go to 42nd Street, the little booths, right? You got chicks shitting bananas out of their asses. They're wiggling their asses. They're smoking out of their pussies. That's a job. I'll go and watch that for two hours. Don't tell jokes. If I was a chick, I'd be on a street corner sucking dick till I had a mansion. So much more for them to do. You're a lady, don't you agree? You know what I'm saying? I mean, how fucking funny would you be if you came up here? You wouldn't be! I go to a porno movie, there's a chick, dick in her mouth, couple sticking between her tits, one in a vagina. To me, that's entertaining. They're doing what women do. Don't try to break new ground. That's silly. It's a new bit I'm working on. Let him alone, Vince! What movie? Yeah, no, stupid. If you don't know the right answer, don't yell any answer. Now I ain't telling you. You ever see a chick pick an apple up with her ass? You ever see that? I did. What a goof, man. Well, what, what do you do? What do? You don't go to porno movies and jerk off. You don't hang out in a booth on 42nd Street. You don't let prostitutes blow you. What do you do? You hang out in here. Day in, day out, you're always here. That's bullshit, I was here Saturday night, I didn't see you. 
And I looked at everybody. <sighs> yeah, why not, right? You smoke? What do you smoke? Marlboro what? Red? Cookie. How many can you go through in an hour? Really? What's your name? Oh, it's you with the guy? No, no, it's not. No, but you're with her, right? And she's coming on to me, we're talking cigarettes, and, you, and you're just sitting there. You're just sitting there. I mean, what do you mean? Shut her up. Say, shut your fucking hole when I'm talking. You know what I mean? Shut your fucking trap. She's coming on to me. See, they all get too excited from me. She's excited now, right? Yeah, maybe a little wet, do you know that? Hey, I might not be able to see it, but I could smell it. Oh. <laughs> I got an echo happen. Oh, we got people over here, too. Here they are. Here they are hiding. Guy from Hartford don't hide. Your wife's very nice, by the way. Mm-hmm. So what's going to happen back at the hotel, huh? You going to listen to anything I said and maybe do a little ass eating, huh? Hey, yo, fuck, I dig you. I'm working with you tonight. You're the hippest cat in the room. You're the hippest, the kookiest, the kum kunky, junkiest cat I've met in a long time. And she's pretty hip, too. So what about the door? Do you think you could set me up, eh? I'll take her out, I'll buy a coffee, I'll throw in my car. No Danish. <laughs> what do you do? You're a teacher. What do, what, 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 what do you teach? History. What do you think? I don't know history. I know Harry Belafonte, they started the Civil War. You think I don't know shit? Do you know how many chicks Christopher Columbus fucked when he got here? Do you know that shit? You know he got here, but you don't know the good shit. I got my connections, you see? We read different books. He got off the boat, right? And there was this little Indian chick about this big, right? Real tight ass. One thing leads to another. He takes her behind a few palm trees. He's dicking her balls deep. Right? That's the story I heard. You teach that in your class? Then you're not giving them facts. Indians, bright people, huh? <laughs> They're still living in fucking teepees. I live in a house with a heater, a fucking pool, a jacuzzi, a workout room, tree car fucking garage, and some jerkos living in the middle of the desert in some fucking yo-yo teepee. <laughs> what a fucking jerkoff. They deserved it. You know it and I know it, so why don't you start telling them that? Would you live in a teepee? Huh? Would you ride a horse to work? No. You jump in your car, you turn on the heater. That dumb as shit. That, that's what I think. Ah, oh, got a knot in my ass. Uh. You ever smoke a cigarette? You wanna? No. Scared? <laughs> You've done a pack and a half for eight today. What's one gonna do to you, huh? You won't be able to jog tomorrow? Huh? Yeah? That's bullshit, pal. You don't know what you're missing. Why? Why are you the way you are? 
Why? Why? Tell me why. Do you know why? You don't know why. You know why? You're a jack of. That, that's what I think, and he even thinks so. And he was the biggest jack off in the room. I wonder what those people say in that left ear. Have you thought about them since they left? Well, she have a stick up her ass. Oh, what? From the word go, I was hitting home with her. That's what it was, and her husband knew it. That's why they had to leave. She needed the discipline. She didn't deserve the laughs. They, they got other hoes in here you know, that appreciate this stuff. You got a girlfriend? Yeah. And where is she? Where? San Jose. San Jose. What you what you doing there? She lives there. She lives there. She's loyal to you? <laughs> Makes you even a bigger jerk off, doesn't it? <laughs> Just think of this, you're sitting in a comedy club, right? And she's with some big guy, and he's just pounding that bush, making her sweat. Fuck me, Jose. That's what she's yelling right now. Fuck me. And then you'll go home and call her. What'd you do tonight? Oh, nothing I read. The minute they tell you they're reading, they're fucking. Or sucking, it could go either way. Maybe both. Why don't you get a girlfriend here? One you could keep an eye on. Maybe a leash, a muzzle. Okay, get one here. He keeps his with him. She's with him. You're sitting with a chair. Can't fuck the chair. I don't know. Maybe. You like plastic? They got these dolls. 42nd Street, it's not far. We'll go together afterwards. For some reason, all the dolls got the same name, Judy. You ever get a blowjob by a plastic doll? And then your papa. <laughs> Goodbye, next. Nice meeting you, Judy. See, you're loosening up finally. Who else we got here that's having too much fun? She's even laughing now, eh? See what I did for you? Throw your arm around her. Squeeze it, tit. Make her happy. How many dates you been on with her? Uh, zero. Zero? I'm his mother. You're his mother. Oh. Whoa! Oh. With that hot ass and those fucking tits and that's mom. Ooh, what I could do to her. Ooh, what I'm gonna do to her. Little spanking, that does you bad girl, eh? The fuck out of here. You're fucking her. This ain't your mother. Is this really your mother? Is that why you're so quiet? But otherwise, you'd be laughing your balls off, right? She's laughing. She knows everything I'm talking about. Eh? Mm. Look at her. No, don't look at her. Oh, look. Look away. Look away. Look at those eyes. They sparkle like the Nile. Wanna fuck, baby? See how I know how to charm them? She's a hot dish. You work out. Yeah, stretch those limbs a little. That's why I go to the beach. They wear that little fuck suit. Yeah. She look good in a bikini, walking around the beach with her heels. And then she'd give me an attitude at first. I know it's your mom, I'm not saying nothing. But she'd go, what are you looking at? And I'd be like, baby, your bush is raking the sand. What am I looking at? I want to eat you like a toast fucking salad. What am I looking at? No, I'm looking at the shell laying next to your ass. I'm collecting them. Gonna hang them up next to the jit gel rag on my wall. She's hot. So where's Pop? 
divorced, right? <laughs> eh? You unloaded them after you got all the cash. <laughs> what happened? Why'd you break up? You were bored. You needed me. <laughs> Did you ever think you'd be this close to living proof that God could create something perfect, huh, baby? <laughs> hey, if you're good and you know it, why hide it? So shut your trap when I'm rapping. <laughs> think I'd be your new pop? Get you all the hooey's you could eat. Have him come over the house. Yeah, this is my son. Lick his balls. Do me a favor. And then when you're done, I sneak into the room. Ba bam! Don't tell mom or no more hooey's. But I dig her. You got a sister too? Woo! What a family I could have. You're banging them all out. See, that's one thing I never understood. Like when a woman gets divorced and she's got a daughter and she marries a guy, you know. Now that guy's got to live with the wife and the 18-year-old daughter walking around with her panties creeping up her ass. A big, fat, fucking, motherfucking, fat, fucking tits are jiggling all over that apartment. You could go out of your mind from that. You'd have to fuck them. On principle, once again. Right? You know what I'm saying? Look at her. Man. Hartford. Mr. History teacher. What grade do you teach? High school. 16, 17 year old chicks wearing their little mini skirts, giving you the three o'clock flash. Yeah? You ever want to bang one of them? The truth. There had to be that one chick, right? That she'd stay after. What's your, what's your name, Mr. What? Mr. Yo-Yo, we'll call you. <laughs> oh, Mr. Yo-Yo, can you help me with my studies? Grab a boy. Here's an A+. Plus. <laughs> yeah, you bullshit artist, Joe. You've been out there fucking for years. Now everybody knows it. Then in high school, they try to keep me like after class for detention. The teacher would go, come on up to the board and write, I will not misbehave 100 times. I go, hey, baby, why don't we cut to the chase, blow me so I could go play some hoop. <laughs> I mean, that's what they wanted. You can't help it when you're me. Look at her, she ain't budging. She's waiting for me to finish. She'll be at the bar. Can I buy you a drink? No. But she ain't bad. And hey, mom? How do you let your kid listen to this stuff? He'll get detergent in his mind. Now, you know you're having a good time. So loosen up. Now we know it's all in the family. You're fucking my who is. I'm banging her. Everybody's dropping loads all over the apartment. It's one big, happy, gooey family. Uh, right? See, now it's all out in the open. <sighs> Who else we got here? Come on in. Relax. Come on, move your ass. They had to go together. They don't even know each other, but they had to go together. Why is that? For enthusiasm. Go ahead, honey, unload a truck. If pee like a racehorse, you could do it. And the pocketbooks go. What do they do, shit in the bag? What'd she say to you? You could tell me. No, what'd she say? Come on. Come on, be a cool guy. One thing. Just because you're afraid of her. Come on, what'd she say? Why? What's so private? What could be so private that's happened in this club? What'd she say? I want to go. Does she want to leave? Is she having a good time? What do you think? You are having a great time. Why? I've done everything I can to ruin that time. 
but yet you're having a great time. I'm too clean tonight, that's what it is. You know what I mean? You think I'm too clean tonight? Yeah? yeah. No, no rhymes, stupid. If I wanted to do rhymes, I would do it. What do you think, I don't know I do rhymes? I know I do rhymes, but I ain't doing them, right? So why are you asking me? What am I, a fucking puppet on a string? No! So once again, shut your fucking hole! Can't you control her? Just cause she smokes! Who's the other couple with you? Double date? Mmm, fun. Who drove? He did, huh? Isn't that a pisser? Gotta go pick them up. He's a what? What does DD mean? Oh, is he? So you could get all fucked up, right? Oh, that's a good time for you, pal. So first you gotta pick up the alky. Let him go out. Tank himself up with his broad. You don't even like the fucking guy. Now you gotta go to a diner, try to sober the cocksucker up. Put him back in the motherfucking car. Bring him back to his motherfucking house. Drop him off. You go home, she gets in bed, and you're fucked. What a good time. Well, for me, well, then it was worth it. Hey, look, me, you, and the Hartford couple will go back and have a real good time. Right, baby, eh? She still swings it around, believe me. You're in school till three, the milkman's there by 9 a.m. A booge! A bada bing! Whatever. Eh? You like the milkman, eh? Swing on his vine like Tarzan in the woods, don't you, baby? I like that. I don't like your attitude. Call yourself a crowd. No rhymes, that's right. Wipe your ass with the fucking rhymes. Fucking retard. And chicks wonder why I goof on them. They're retarded. That's why when they got a broom in their hand and a pan in the other, you know they're gonna be all right for a while. They know, boom, 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 boom. Tweep. Tweep. <laughs> no, I don't make fun of the retarded. I back them. I back them with my act. Why do they call it multiple sclerosis? Can't you just get it like once? Everybody I meet's got multiple sclerosis. Not just once. How are you? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so anyway, I run into this chick I knew a few weeks ago, right? And I haven't seen her since I met her a few weeks ago. And I'm walking down the street, and I see her, and I walk over, and I say, How are you? <laughs> she said, Good. <laughs> After I scared the shit out of her. It's fun to scare people, too. It's that whole bit. Is this beautiful? We started out laughing. No, but this, listen. Nothing. Not a chuckle. I love this. So look. I've had a great time here tonight. You've been a phenomenal crowd. Good night. <laughs> now, you see, that kills it. You know, this could take anywhere from 15 minutes to an hour. Back! Get it? 
could be a minute, could be a half hour, or an hour. Back. Get it? Hour back. Call you back in an hour. Back. Get it? So we could do this fast, or we could do it in an hour. Back. Get it? Hour back. Call you in an hour. Back. Get it? Hour back. Get it? Uh. Hour back. I'll call you in an hour. I'll get back to you. Hour back. Get it? Hour back. The fuck's the difference if I call you an hour in an hour? Back. Get it? Hour back. Call you in an hour. Back. I'll get back to you. Doesn't matter if it's an hour in an hour. Back. Get it? We got any hunchbacks in the room? We got any hunchbacks in here? Where the hunchbacks? The fuck is with them already? There's no telethon for hunchbacks. I want to see it done. I got a friend that's a hunchback, man. I was in the grocery store with him. Security guards were all over this guy. They thought he was trying to smuggle turkey under the fucking back of his jacket. So can't you see the guy's got a bad back? Hour? Back? He's a hunchback. Let me call the cops. It shouldn't take them too long to get here. Maybe it'll take them an hour. Back? But I had a hunch. I had a hunch they'd stop him with that bad fucking back. Why do they call them hunchbacks anyway? Why don't they call them bump backs? Bring them out on a string like a bunch of camels. Bump, don't bump. Fucking hunchbacks. Take an hour to get on and off a bus. Your stop comes, there's another one. It's another hunchback. Blocking the fucking lane. Move, bad back. Just cause you got a hunch fucking back don't mean you got no legs. Get off the fucking bus, it'll take you an hour to get that back off the bus. Hour back. The fuck is a hunchback? Huh? You don't get this bit, do you think I do? Think about it, I'll wait. Take an hour, back, get it! Take a fucking two hours! <sighs> you don't get it, but you're laughing. That's what it's all about. Doesn't matter if it's funny. Doesn't matter if anybody gets it. It's funny. Hey, call the time you want. Laugh about it tomorrow. Laugh about it in an hour. Back, get it? You laughed again. You don't even know what you're laughing at. I don't know what I'm talking about. You don't know what you're laughing at, but it's fucking funny. You're funny. Exactly. I've been funny for years. No, but I really got to go, because if I stay up here, I'll be up here for another hour. Back! Get it! So we're going to try the goodnight thing again. Don't yell out, because I'll do the same bit. Over and over. Yeah, I got nowhere to go. What, you just yell out shit? You know, you yell, Eric Roberts, where is he? Do you see him in here? So why don't you just shut your fucking mouth? Where are you going? Where are you going, huh? Huh? Hurry up and come back. In an hour. Back? Get it? You fuck?
Ja, cocksucker! It's the kind of show you bring your daughters to, huh? Some filthy fucking mouth comic and you sit there and laugh! You don't give a fuck! Look at me for 10 hours, back! Get it! Richie, where are you? Come up here, come up. Come up here a minute. My friend Ragdoll Eddie Bugnet. Come on, let's do the hour back song. Swing for me. I'll be coming back in an hour. Back, get it. I'll be calling you back in an hour. Back, get it. All right, that's good. That, that's good. That's one song. We want the music on this album. Now, give me like a nice, soft, soft. Because, you know, I, I do want to thank all of you for coming in here. And uh, I know maybe I said a few things that were uh, maybe a tinge off color. You know, I mean, I accused you of fucking your daughters. <laughs> you know? I didn't mean that. I don't know if you're fucking them. I'm not there. I mean, I haven't peeped since I looked in my aunt's window when I was a kid. But you wouldn't really fuck your daughters. Maybe you'd let them jerk you off. Who knows? But that's not my business. So maybe you eat her ass. Who put her through school? You know what I mean? I could understand it. Maybe she walks around in a Calvin's creeping so far up her ass it's wiping up pancreas. You're sitting on your chair in the living room. Your prick is hard like steel. Nobody's looking. You drop a load. Who cares? That's what family's all about. Jake off. And the people from Texas, they came to New York to have a nice vacation. And all I'm telling him is to use her like some kind of receptacle. To shoot his load in her face on her back in an hour. Get it? I didn't mean that. I love Texas. I fuck a lot of girls in Texas. And you, Dunsky. I didn't mean that. You're a nice guy. You don't have to fuck your, your girlfriend's friend. You should fuck her. Come on, you know you want to chomp away on that little slice of hers. But that's your business. Maybe you'll just drive her home and you'll go home and just think about her and jerk off. Whatever makes you happy. And Janet. <laughs> Janet, the divorcee. I don't care if she blows you. She should love you. Suck his dick till the veins are blue. Suck his dick till you take his goo. Merry, Merry Christmas. Pull his prick. Slap his balls. Eat his ass till your tongue is brown. Merry, Merry Christmas. Shoot your wad high in the sky. Sprinkle it all around. 
Give her some. Give her two. Double loads for you and you and you. Merry, merry. Merry, merry, merry. Merry Christmas to you. It's time to go. I've got to shoot my goo. Take care.